spider's web and in this video we're going to be doing an unboxing of another game that I've got which is going towards a collection <laughs> it's going to take some while to get this collection completed or to fill the box that I've got for it completed anyway why is that? it's smash up and this is the munchkin edition <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to get some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cards in this game. Okay, let's get down to the table and see what's inside, shall we? Okay, so here we are with uh, the front cover of the box. As you can see, all the little different Munchkin style characters. If we turn the box over... It says on the back, history records many great purrings, death and taxis, peanut butter and chocolates, cats and cheeseburgers. Now we've smashed up Munchkin with Smash Up. Smash Up is the game where each player smashes two weird factions together and tries to crush all the others. The factions in this set are Munchkin races and classes, orcs, warriors, halflings, clerics, dwarves, elves, thieves and mages. All the factions have different powers and every team Sorry, every team up is different. This set may be played by itself, but all the factions are fully compatible but with your existing smash up sets. There are two brand new card types. Monsters lurk around the bases and treasures give you new rewards when you smash a base. Eight entirely new decks. New monster and treasure cards. Amazing new munchkin arts drawn by John Kovalik and painted by Francisco Rico Torres and Gong Studios. It's a game for Oh, what is it? It's two to four players. It lasts 45 minutes, ages 12 and up. Inside we get, as you can see here, eight factions with 20 cards each, 20 monster cards, 22 treasure cards, a token sheet, 16 base cards and a rule book. Let's get it open, shall we? Rip off this cellophane and bolt these up. I was hoping I might be able to get away without using a thermal standing tripod for this, but it's still a little bit close. <laughs> Never mind, let's push. In fact, that's So let's just have a quick flick through the, the rule. Can I raise this camera? Only a little bit. Okay, so we have. <clears throat> As per usual, a very nice, um, colourful and bright rule book. And then we have scoring tokens, one point token and five point tokens. But now we have the, the cards. Oh yes, the cards. Let's get these out, shall we? Pop this box to one side because we'll no longer be needing it because I have the big geeky box. And let's lower the camera. Okay, so we have a number of packs of cards. First of all, put these to one side and let's open this set, shall we? Now this set isn't cards, these are the dividers for the big geeky box. These are slightly thicker than credit card. There's the set for the monsters. That's the divider for the treasures. The divider for the warriors. The divider for the thieves. The divider for the orcs. <coughs> For the mages, for the halflings, the elves, the dwarves, and the clerics. And just to be on the safe side, they're exactly the same on both sides. And as I say, as you can see, they are thick plastic card kind of cards. Thicker than a credit card, let's put it that way. Next we have this deck. <clears throat> oh, that's good, because they've got a little thing on here that <clears throat> allows me to open it up without having to use a knife. 
which is nice. Okay, so we have ah. these are the elves. We have minion. I'm not going through all the the cards as per usual with card games. I'm just going to skim through. Flower Child. Then we have Lord of the Prance. <laughs> we can have a quick look at some of these. The Fae Fighter. <clears throat> Helping Hands. Trade. Pumping Iron. After you. Run away! Dancing groups. Where did they got that from? Um, run away no! Travelling elf. And that's it for the elves. Um, not quite sure what this particular one is. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we've done the elves. These are the halflings. Okay, quarterling. Um, I'm going to put these to one side for the time being, separate them into the different decks, and that way they're much easier when we go into uh, sort them out for the uh, ranking big geeky box. Birdling, <coughs> pestling. I am Marshall. Unexpected party. Lunch run. <laughs> Very hobbitish, aren't they? <laughs> Rude awakening. <clears throat> Last call. Yet another prancing pony. I like that. I like that. Franchise opportunities available. <laughs> But it says the yet another prancing pony franchise opportunities. <laughs> That's great. Out of nowhere. <clears throat> Spoiled brats. Make worse. Sneaksy. Small but tough. <clears throat> right. I'm not going to open those yet. Uh, I just want to make sure. That there are no other. In fact, there's different things in this deck. Let's have a look in here then. Um, where are you? There we go. So we're starting off with the bases. <coughs> uh, we have the bases here. I just want to make sure there's no other. Then we have the monsters. Okay, it's bases, monsters and treasures. Okay, so I'll put them to one side and we can have a look at those in a bit. I want to get the main cards out of the way first. If that's okay with you. <laughs> okay, so. Because I know some of these quite often mixed up, so I don't know exactly, I can't remember exactly how many cards you get. Is it 20? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, two, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Right, so it looks as though we may have them all organised. Oh well, we'll soon find out. What do we have here? Oh, now these are the. Uh, let's look, shall we? These are the thieves. See with the logo there, it matches the one here. So, <clears throat> let's have a look, shall we? We have pickpocket, we have cat burglar. <laughs> A 
Master Thief. Swipe. Swipe again. Secret Stash. Smuggling. Potion Bandolier. And another one. Clever Distraction. Mugging. Strip Burr. Backstab. And that's it. And then I think these will be the Warriors. <coughs> Let's just double check. Uh, yes, the Warriors. We have the Sword and Shield there, which coincides with the Sword and Shield at the bottom here. <coughs> okay, so we have a Taunter. One, two, three, four. A Berserker. <coughs> One, two, three. A Stir Player. <coughs> One, two of those. A big hero. <laughs> Cleave. And another one. Dungeon Bait. Two of those. Sealed Shield of Ubiquity. Ruckus. Campaign. Warcry, Eternal Hero, and Dumbbells. <laughs> I'm loving the artwork on these. I mean, I do anyway for uh, the Smash Up cards. And then we've got Mages. Which will be on the safe side. I'll show you. Uh, Mages, mages, with the wizards. There you go. <clears throat> and we have scroll shuffler. Two, three, four of those. We have wand whiz. <clears throat> One, two, three of those. Happy zapper. One, two of those. A Blaster Master. <coughs> Portal to Beyond. <coughs> Mass Summoning. Churn. Speed Reading. Embiggen. Some enchanted evening. <laughs> Recover arcane wisdom. And another one. Zap. And another one. And that's it for the mages. <clears throat> and now we have orcs. <clears throat> A dark arc. One, two, three, four of those. <clears throat> then we have a hammer slammer. One, two, three of those. A chopper chopper. <laughs> Talent do coffee. Oh, nice one. Two of those. Sword lord. Angry Pillagers. So, this is the one. So, Crush. Stalling. <coughs> Gimme. Dog Pile. So, with those. Death Breath. And stay down. And too tough. There were the orcs. 
and the final deck which has the final two um, fractions in it if I can get my fingernail under this to Okay, there we are. Oops. Some on the back there. And now we have uh, who's this? Is it clerics? Let's have a look. Uh, treasure, yes, clerics with the bishop's mitre. And we have holy roller. <coughs> One, two, three, four of those. We have a turner. <coughs> One, two, three of those. Deep Fryer. What's the betting there's going to be one in a bit called a Deep Fat Fryer? Yes, I think. One, two of those. Cardinal. <coughs> Collection Plate. Two of those, word of recall. Join the club. Two of those, been and gone. <coughs> Remove curse. Good habits. Curse of uselessness. And curse of imprisonment. Obviously, there wasn't a. <coughs> um, what do you call it? There wasn't one called Deep Fat Fryer. <laughs> oh well, never mind. And finally, the one we have now is the dwarves. As you can see from the hand holding the gemstone there, it matches in with the card. So we have a gem grabber. <coughs> One, two, three, four of those. We have a gold digger. One, two, three of those. A loot lover. <coughs> One, two of those. A dwarf king. Greed is good. <coughs> One, two of those. Salvage. Mm. Anything for money. Hidden assets. Two of those. Cash out. Cunning plan. Know my precious. Mine. And that's it for the actual faction cards. Now we are looking at the bases. <clears throat> and again, I'm not going to go through all of them in detail. We're just going to have a quick look. Okay, so we have the coffers, the thieves guild, bastion, the gauntlet, Hotel of Holiness, Wackagool, Dimension Doors, Mage's Tower, Treehouse, Helper's Hollow, Mines, Treasure Bath, Pits, Garrison, Birthday party and subterranean low, low. Now, if you notice, it says on these one monster that's how many of the monster cards that you put underneath this card. <coughs> um, so you get one monster on that one, two monsters on that, one other one monster, two monsters, two monsters, three monsters on Wakagool, 
three monsters under gauntlet and the bastion two monsters under coffers so <clears throat> it depends which you pull depends on what monsters you get and the monsters are here now I don't know whether it's the cards or these numbers that you put on that's a, a level 2 monster so whether you put one level 2 monster on uh, you know what it says down here two monsters I doubt it I don't know I don't know we'll have a look at the rules anyway try and work it out <laughs> so we have a poultry geist <coughs> We have a web troll. I think this is how much. Um, I don't think it's, this is the level. I think this is how much it adds to the cost of the um, of the base. So, for example, that's twenty three. You put this with it, and that makes it twenty four. I think that's how it works. And then we have a ghoul. <clears throat> and see though it says one treasure, that's what you get when you've defeated the ghoul. <clears throat> we have a hippogriff. King Tut. Bigfoot, Knight of the Living Dead, <laughs> love it, and a Plutonium Dragon. <laughs> <clears throat> and finally we get to find out what the treasures are. You can use these, I'm assuming as it says actions um, yeah, they all seem to be actions so I think obviously you'd be able to use these as well as your own cards which is handy we have knee pads of allure magic missile boots of bookkeeping potion of idiot bravery <laughs> chains of bloody dismemberment <laughs> A bag of caltrops, potion of redundancy potion. <laughs> I like that. That's subtle. A jetpack of anachronism. Buckler of swashing. Chest of holding. <clears throat> Wishing ring. A wand of dowsing. Boots of running really fast. Nice. Potion of cowardice. Tiger steed. That's handy. Halfling hiling. A dwarf hiling. Potion of halitosis. Dungeon rule book. Potion of line cutting. Crossbow, funny, and potion of paralysis. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so these are going to be heading now into my big geeky box that I have. And uh, it's getting full. There's going to be another um, Smash Up expansion coming out towards the beginning of next year, by all accounts. And this is, this is one that's... Uh, as um, this is one that AEG, the company that made it, um, have actually put to players' vote. I think it's called, if I remember rightly, "It's Your Fault." <laughs> I think it's called the "It's Your Fault" expansion because it's what we voted for. Well, when I say we, we players of Smash Up have voted for that we'd like to see as um, 
factions in the game so that could be quite interesting but I said that's for the Munchkin expansion for Smash Up is it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it it's a bit of a look through the cards and uh, I'm looking forward to playing it I haven't played this game for ages um, I haven't even played with the uh, Pretty Pretty expansion yet so who knows what happens I might actually take it to the games club tomorrow night and see if we can get a game <laughs> anyway that's it from this video I hope, as I said I hope you've enjoyed it oh dear and uh, I will be I will see you soon so until then as always take care God bless and bye for now